Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, you saw the mail merge recipients window appear after you had selected a data source for your merge document. This lesson will focus on using that dialog box to select the records that you want to use for your mail merge. Note that you can also open this dialog box by clicking the Edit Recipient List button in the Start Mail Merge button group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. Of course, you must have already selected a data source for the document before you can use this button. If you still need to select a data source, you can click the Select Recipients button in the Start Mail Merge button group, and then choose one of the commands available to either create a new list or select an existing list. In the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box, you will see the records from your selected list displayed at the top of the window. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes in the second column to manually select or deselect the records you want to use for the Mail Merge. If you need to perform an advanced filtering or sorting of the data, you will find additional hyperlinks at the bottom of this dialog box that you can use to manage the list data. To apply an advanced sort to the data, you can click the Sort Hyperlink. This will open the Filter and Sort dialog box and display the Sort Records tab within the dialog box. Here you can use the Sort by dropdown to select the primary field by which you want to sort the data. Then choose the sorting method to apply from the option button shown at the end of the field. You can select either ascending or descending order. You can then perform the same actions for the two additional then by fields in order to apply a secondary or tertiary sort order if needed. To apply the sorting order when you are finished, just click the OK button. If you want to apply an advanced filter to your list, then click the Filter hyperlink at the bottom of the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box. This will reopen the Filter and Sort dialog box, but will display the Filter Records tab this time. On this tab, use the first drop-down under the Field column to choose the field name by which you want to filter the data. Then use the Comparison drop-down to select a comparison operator. Then type the value against which you want to compare the field's value directly into the Compare To field. If you need to apply even more filtering criteria, then first choose either the AND or OR choice from the first drop-down in the second row. Then repeat the same process again. Note that you can set multiple filtering criteria within this tab. Once you've set your filtering criteria, you can then click the OK button to apply them to your list. Once you've applied either a sort order or a filter to the records in your list, you can clear either setting to display all of the records again. To do this, click either the Sort or Filter hyperlinks at the bottom of the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box depending upon which aspect you want to remove in order to open the Filter and Sort dialog box. If you want to clear the sorting that has been applied, then click the Sort Records tab and then click the Clear All button. If you want to remove a filter that has been applied, then click the Filter Records tab and then click the Clear All button. Once you have finished clearing any sorting or filtering criteria on each tab, Click the OK button to apply the changes and return to your list. If you want to search for possible duplicate records in your list, you can click the Find Duplicates hyperlink shown at the bottom of the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box to open the Find Duplicates dialog box. This dialog box will show any possible duplicate records that could exist in your list. You can uncheck any records that are shown in this window to prevent duplicate records from being used in the same mail merge. Once you have finished using this, you can then click the OK button to return to the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box. You can click the Find Recipient hyperlink in order to open the Find and Field dialog box. You can use this to locate a record in your list by a field's value. Once you're finished using the dialog box, you can click the Cancel button to return to the list. In the Data Source section, you can view the name of the selected data source. You can click on the name of the data source shown in this list, and then click the Edit button to open the Edit Data Source dialog box. You can use this dialog box to directly make changes to the list data if needed. Once you are finished, you can then click the OK button. Word will prompt you to save your changes and update the list in a separate message box. Click Yes to accept the changes and return to the Mail Merge Recipients window. Once you are finished selecting the records that you want to use for your mail merge by using the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box, simply click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.
www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.